All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get your boy, Dr. Hulk. I always say every Saturday morning, get yourself together, get up, because it's going down here at 106 The Groove. Guess what? It is the Fresh Start Show every Saturday at 7.30 a.m. And listen, uh, get, your, get your favorite cereal, get your coffee, get your hot cocoa. It's going down here at the Fresh Start Show. It's a show that's about our brothers and sisters who's been incarcerated. It's a show about those who's been formerly incarcerated. It's a show about prison reform, bail reform, justice reform, police reform. And yes, every now and then we talk about trauma and mental health on the show. It's all interconnected. Listen, we want to thank all of our partners and all those that are tuning in i've been getting great news been getting good feedback you guys have been tuning in letting us know how much this show is being a blessing to you um our good friend um who's uh incarcerated right now frederick has been writing us letters uh letting us know that he's listening and his friends are listening and that's what the show is all about Amen. this show is a platform this show is a pulpit this show is a, a space where we speak truth to power. It's a show that where we talk about the real common issues that marginalize and disenfranchise people go through every single day. You hear me say it all the time. Listen, if you have a felony in Arizona, there's about 200,000 felons that cannot vote because of the fact that they have a felony uh, in this country. Um, I can tell you right now that if you have a felony, it's going to be difficult, not impossible, but you will have some hurdles trying to get employment. Um, our second issue is that when you are having uh, background issues with a felony, being incarcerated, um, housing, trying to put, put a place, uh, put a roof over here for you and your family. So it's, it's a real issue. And we know that if you don't get rehabilitated, we know if you don't get educated, if you don't get supported, what happens is recidivism. People get so worn out, they go right back into prison and be institutionalized all over again. So that's what the Fresh Start Show is about. Listen, we have our big event coming up this October, October 21st. It's going down at the TCC Tucson Convention Center. It's going down. We're going to have thousands of people downtown getting their stuff together getting their issues together aren't you tired of dri driving a car looking over your back wondering <laughs> you're going to get pulled over running wondering if they're going to tow your car or wondering um if you got a warrant out there they're going to take you to jail let's stop this madness handle your business you cannot have a bright future if you don't address your past Handle your business. This is what we're here for. We got all the courts, city courts, justice courts, um, superior court, juvenile courts, county attorney, public defender. They're all at the table to help you get your issues together. Listen, save the date. Tucson Convention Center. The Fresh Start Expo is coming back to the downtown Tucson Center. And we got good news. We got some great things happening in 2024. We are expanding. In 2024, we will have Fresh Start in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Man, don't tell me what God can't do. Mm. Uh, they always say in the, old, but in the old church, it's no secret what God can do and what he's done for others. He'll do the same for you. And so uh, let's stay encouraged. Let's fight on. Um, I'm about to send it over to Tom. Tom we, we um, going to tell us about some uh, great events coming up. We've got a Fresh Start event coming up in May. You want to be there. Uh, you want to beat us there. Uh, but tune in. Um, every Saturday we're here. Um, and, yes, this is a special edition of the Fresh Start show on every third Saturday. It's tree on time. Yes. Tree on time. <laughs> I wish I could say it like... Uh, 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 the MMA fighter, his yeah. name is Bruce. You know, it's time. I was like, I could do that. <laughs> I want to do that so bad over the mic. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You was yeah. a UFC, the yeah. announcer. Yeah. He said, It's time. <laughs> but tree on time is coming to us in a few minutes. Come on, Tom, our co host, what's going down in the city? 
Well, we have an event going on on May 3rd at the Pima Release Center. It's going to be at 1275 West Star Pass Boulevard from 12 to 2.30. For anybody on parole, come on out there and witness the resources that we will have available to you, the opportunities for you to get legal advice, maybe a haircut, and, and to just enjoy some food. DOC is treating this as a really cool event. They're bringing out free food and food trucks, and, and they're going to have some activities for us out there. It's really cool. I wanted to announce the Desert Skies United Methodist Men's Club who sponsors us and at 3255 North Houghton Road. Go out there any Monday from 8 to 11 and we'll help you out with some really nice stuff at a really good price. Wow, 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 wow. So get come down if you have felony issues, legal issues. It, this is not just about one thing. Right. Um, this is a holistic approach. That's one thing about Fresh Start. We we try to be a catalyst and bring all the resources yeah. there, together. There, there's people from rehabilitative <laughs> services, from mental health services, from halfway houses uh, coming out, and, and there's going to be the job fair. So they're yeah. felony-friendly employers. employers yeah. uh, so everybody there is going to be there so that anybody that comes could have a better future. Man, come down here get this job. I... <laughs> I'm telling you right now, even in the fast food industry, that's not a seven dollar an hour job no more. We got people working at the food food joint making twenty dollars an hour, yeah. um, making more money than somebody have an undergrad degree. We talking about we talking about real deal stuff. Real. I mean, that's so real. get down to this job fair, get you a job. Let's 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 man up, let's woman up, let's put food <laughs> on the table. We trying to help you. Uh, no excuses, no excuses. We no. don't want to hear it. We want a better community. We want a better community. Like we we will put put the, put some money uh, put some money in your pocket. Let's make change. Let's do the things that we need to do. So we'll be coming back on some of the things in our sponsor, Desert Skies United Methodist Men's Club. All right, Desert Sky, thank you for taking a chance on Fresh Start. Um, we are so excited for you. Um, lending uh, your support for us and uh, we look for uh, continue to make an impact and be a beacon of light in our community. Well, guess what? It is that time! Stop. Trion time! <laughs> yes, yes, wow. yes. He's in the building, in ladies the building. and gentlemen. Good morning. He's Good morning. in the building. Come on, talk to us, my brother. Good morning, Dr. Damon T. Holt. <laughs> Tom, good morning. Don't y'all know bright and fresh and ready to make it happen again thank you Amen. so much for the opportunity to be here so hey i got a lot to talk about in a little bit of time so i'm gonna jump in first and foremost it is a beautiful day mm. any day you get to wake up any day the ends in y is a beautiful day so watch it monday it's a great day tuesday it's a great mm. day wednesday it is a great day thursday come on y'all going with me it's <laughs> a great on. day friday is a great day saturday this morning is a great day, and on Sunday, any day that ends in Y is a great day. So get up and get your great day on. So again, I am so excited to yeah. be on Fresh Start with yes. Doctor Holt, and yeah. I got this question, y'all. I'm going to ask. I'm going to put him on the spot. This ain't scripted. What does T stand for, Doctor Holt? What does the T, your middle initial, stand for? Twantel. Twantel. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmama named me that, and I try not to tell nobody. I just told Twantel. everybody. Twantel. Twantel. I tell you what, if my grandmama <laughs> say my whole name, I'm in trouble. You in trouble. I, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. But Dr. Holt, much love to you. God Thank you for you, being man. a big beacon of light here in Southern Arizona, not just Southern Arizona, all throughout the state and our country. That's what it's all about. Tom, mm. my good friend, give me Amen. a pound, man. Good to see you. Tom had a wonderful story. Before I got here, y'all, this was my first time, never been down here. Tom met me in the hallway, and we talked it up. He said, you're going to be over here in this studio, this booth. So I come over to the booth, and we get to talk, and he said, man, do you know so-and-so and so-and-so? -and -so? I was like, yeah, that's a mutual friend of mine. I saw your your bio, I saw your email, I saw your link like a couple of months ago. And I was like, wow, that's why we're here today. That's how God's works. He is able to put you in positions and places mm. with people that you don't know. And then they talk, they call you by your name, by your face, and yeah. you have a kingdom of opportunity. So give it up for that's Tom. That's real. That's what it's all about. So, um, <laughs> man, so this is what we're getting ready to jump into. Now, the question is this. Trion, how did you get to the third Saturday morning with Dr. Holt with Fresh Start? You don't know that Dr. Holt is my big bro. So um, we have mentoring sessions, right, Doc? Yeah, yeah. We chop it up. We talk about the real hard conversations <laughs> so he can make sure that I know what I'm going on. But he's always said, Trion, the day will come that uh, what's inside of you is going to have to be birthed. 
and you can decide to play with your birth if you want to. Yeah. But you're going to have to go ahead and do this thing. So this is a, a opportunity for me to just really jump out there on faith, man. And a lot of people don't know what faith stands for, but I'm going to tell you what it means to me. Forsaken all, I trust him. I'm going to try it again. For me, the word faith stands for forsaken all, mm. I trust him. And yeah. in this point in my mm. life, I'm, I'm trusting him even when I can't trace him. So um, Treon Cockrell Coleman, you want to know the real story? The real story is this. 13 years ago, I came to a city called Tucson. Left my family, my friends, everything that I knew for a job. Didn't know much about this job, but I came out here hoping that that job would sustain me. I, like many of you, have went places and spaces and did not enjoy what was going on. And you did the, the first thing that you tried to do is to get up and pack and leave and come up with an idea to get away from the environment. I tell you all of that to let you know that Tucson is what you make it. We're going to try it again. Tucson is all that you make it. Yeah. Come on. It'll yeah. be what you want it to be. How can you say that, Treon? You're 13 years in. You have a beautiful wife. Shout out to Carmen Sean Coleman, my wife, my fix partner it, in crime. It. Uh, the person who uh, gives me a couch. chance. Yeah, no Dr. Couch, I don't want that problem. I don't want that. But again, that's my that's my that's my babe, and she gives me the chance to do that to my wonderful kids. Uh, but the day will come to where we're married today. But remember this: what looks like today is not how you started. That's not how I started. If you had a chance to look back to where you were and you look at where you are today. Most people judge you on where you are now, and they have no idea what it really took. Why are you on this radio at 7.30 in the morning talking about that? That's just not my story. You're listening right now, and that's what you feel about Tucson. Yeah, you got a job. You got something that brought you here. You're a newbie. You're a transplant. But you're truly trying to find community, and you haven't found it yet. You just haven't found it. You go to work. You go home. You go to the club. You go home, you go to Phoenix, go home, but you really never found that saint, um, that space of feeling like you belong. So in this season, what I do is something called connections that count, connections that count. And that's real simple. I try my best every day that God lets me wake up to meet somebody, to meet somebody I did not know. And when I meet that person, see that's, that's surface level, but get to know that person what you like, what you don't like, what's going on in your life. And once you do that, you build off of that. So today, the connections that count e-blast that goes out, it goes out to 325 people who live in Tucson. Now, I'm not talking about that e-blast like from Target and Macy's and places like that to where once you buy something, they got your information and they just blast you. Everyone that's on that e-blast, I know you on a first name basis. And you will be amazed at what kind of people live here in the city that you have never met and they're looking for community. So hey, why do you want that information out there, Treon? Starting on May the 3rd, which is Wednesday, the first Wednesday of every month, we're gonna do a three month pilot. Shout out to Nicole Johnson for helping your boy out. On the 3rd, which is May the 3rd, from five to seven, we're going over to the historic Dunbar. I'm gonna say it again, connections that count has moved beyond an e-blast to a physical gathering. It's called Connections That Count at the Dunbar. May the 3rd, 5 to 7 p.m. Don't ask me what we're going to do. I'm still working that part out, <laughs> Dr. Hope and Tom, but we're going to do something. But let's come out together and see what the community has for us. So, Dr. Hope, that's what Trion is all about right now, but this is not really about Trion. This is about ABC. ABC for me means a better community. How do you make a better community? First, you got to, to admit that what's going on, you don't like it. And I don't like a lot of the things that's going on in my community. So I can complain or I can go out there and make change. So that's your A. Then B, you got to want a better community. How can you be better if you don't do better? So guess what I'm doing? I want to be better. I can easily go to work, <clears throat> go to my house of worship, and come back home. But there's so much more than life than doing two or three things. I want to actually be changing the community and then C, you got to be able to commit to the work that you want to do. This is about a commitment thing. We all commit to certain things in our lives. The things we commit to is what got our attention. But guess what? It don't take but a four or five people committed to do anything. I don't care if it's doing wrong. It don't take but a couple of people committed. Mm, that's right. That's <laughs> and right. it'll happen. Yeah. So let's get committed about actually making change. So again, 
if you need more information about connections that count, Trion, I want to be involved. Hey, I want to hear more about the meat, the potatoes, the theory, the concept, the, the long-term goal. I know it's a lot of you out there this morning want to know that. You can call me personally at 520-477-7318. I'm going to try it one more time. You can call me at 520-477-7318, and we can really talk about what that connections account looked like on um, May the 3rd from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Dunbar. And guess what? You don't, if you've never been to the Dunbar, you're going to get a history lesson in 30 seconds. What's your history lesson? The Dunbar, which was the first and only segregated school here in Tucson, established in 1912 for the sole purpose of educating Tucson's African American students. It was named after the renowned African American poet, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Now, watch this. That was 1912. It's 2023. The impact is the same. That school was organized because they saw a need and they was committed to touching the lives and the hearts of those students. And watch this. There are people here today, this morning, listening to this show who graduated from that school. Amen. Yeah. Who made an that's impact. Yeah. That's walking in these hashtag Tucson streets. And I believe by faith that those people want the same for our generation. And guess what? We're getting ready to go back to, I'm going to call it the sacred ground, the Dunbar, where those halls still ring of those students who made big impact. And we're going to make an impact and we're going to make something shake out here in these Tucson streets. So I'm excited. And guess what? I got to give it back over to my host. I think I did a great job for my first time <laughs> as co-host. Give it up for Trio! All right, Trio. Let's give it up, give it up, give it up. Uh, brother, we, we are really excited having you in our city, having you in our community. Uh, most definitely, it's no secret that you are uh, a beacon of light in your own right um, and a part of the young generation. And more important, I think, part of the solutions. We hear a lot of uh bickering a lot of complaining and, and and i'm i'm along with you tom is along with this as well is i don't like what i see in our country i don't like what i see in our communities um but I, and everywhere i go i say this um there's two type of community members two type of, of people in the church two type of people um in our country either you are a thermometer or you're a thermostat and a uh, thermometer, you just tell the temperature. You can only read what's wrong. Come on here, right? You right. can only it's real. say, this <laughs> yep. is all what's going That's on. Right. And commiserate and, with and, it. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 but what God has want us to be are thermostats. That regardless of mm. what the temperature are, we can shift the atmosphere. We can shift the culture. <laughs> we can change the climate. We can set the tone. We can heal that space when we are thermometers. Um, I would like to say I, I believe that you are a thermometer in our in our city, um, and I can't say that for everyone um, because a lot of times people just want to be uh, I mean thermostats is because we have a lot of people who just want to be thermometers in our city but they don't want to be thermostats. Also, the thermostats mean that you're not gonna please everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna have people try to talk about you. Yes, They're gonna sir. smile in your face and, yes, and 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 put a dagger in your back. But um, the thermostat are the ones that have the power to bring solutions to our community and bring solutions to our city um, and get it done. Uh, let me say this also, and I'll turn over to you, Tom. Uh, I can tell you right now, Dr. Holt, I'm too busy for another meeting. Do not reach out yes, to sir. me for another empty meeting. Yes, sir. If it's not a call of action, if it's not solutions driven, mm. you, we're wasting time. And one of the things we know, Tron, you know, man, Tom, you know, people will meet you to death yeah. in this city. Yeah. You know, and I get many organizations, hey, you know, I heard, I heard your work and this and this and that. I want to have another meeting. What are we talking about? And then what are we going to do after the meeting? Uh, yes, and mm. so that was one of the things I was thinking about this week is that uh, we have to be in our city uh, solutions driven. And it's more than having meetings where we sip on coffee and eat bagels and donuts. Mm. At some point, uh, we have to be solutions driven. Tom, I know you feel my sentiment. Are you a charging citizen? Or are you a retreating citizen or a charging soldier? Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's kind of it, as as Trion was was speaking. It was the road to Emmaus. Yeah, they were told to stay in Jerusalem, but they were bailing. Yeah, because they just didn't believe. They were bailing. 
You know, and you're saying, come back to your first love. Come back to what gave you your future. Yeah. Come yeah. back to Dunbar. Yeah. yeah. Come back and recognize the culture, the history yeah. that gave you your pride. Yeah. Right. And when you do that, you can actually <coughs> build up other people. I mean, we get to do the, the release center every week yeah. Yeah. with the guys getting out of prison and we get to speak into their future. But I'm not talking about next week. I'm not talking about two weeks. I'm talking about right this moment. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to yeah. do right this moment to make yeah. Tucson a better place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. are we walking away from it or are we walking into it? And let's yeah. run into it yeah. because we're called to be soldiers. Yeah. yeah. You know, so are we carrying the weapons that we have been given? And all of yeah. us, we are educated men. Yeah. We can bring into this situation all of that knowledge and all of that wisdom and we can start making a difference. And when we start making a difference in our kids lives it makes a difference in our future and it goes back to that old thing the men who plant trees will not enjoy their shade yeah right i mean what we are doing today we may not enjoy the shade bro yeah. but you know what somebody's going to yeah and and the beauty of that legacy sustains me right this moment yeah yeah. Because right in this moment, I know 20 years down the road, <clears throat> there's going to be a kid standing on a podium that says something about this program that changed his life. That's right. That's why we support these programs. Right. It's, it's, it's not going to make your program weaker to jump on board and support another program. That's yeah. the problem we have in the city. Too many people are working in silos and nobody's locking arms. Yeah. When we start to lock arms, we're going to start to make the impact that God can make because God provides. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome. Listen, guys, uh, it, it's no mistake. Every, all three of us are preachers. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, if you can tell, you know, uh, it is it's the anointing is leaking out in the studio because uh, we can shift this any time now. We can say touch a neighbor in a minute, right? <laughs> uh, no, this is great, man. Um, and well, one thing I want to say, too, about the Dunbar, the Dunbar is not a dinosaur. Um, it's not that it, it's out of sync and irrelevant. The, the Dunbar is part of our future as well as is important, important for our history. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, uh, young people, when they come up, they see the NAACP, they see Urban Leagues, they see all of these institutions. And a lot of times they just pass them away like these are some old dinosaurs that's not relevant for today. We're standing on their shoulders. Talk about mm -hmm. it. Amen. Good God Almighty. We're standing on the shoulders of those that paved the way, that they, they had blood, sweat, and tears so that we can have a broad future. The reason why we're not drinking from different water fountains and we're not sitting in the back of the bus anymore is because people like Dr. King and people like Malcolm X, people like, like Mega Everett and many other, though, Rosa, Rosa Parks. Parks. I mean, oh my God, Harriet Tubman. I mean, we can go on with this, right? Uh, let us not forget about our history so that we can be aware of our destiny. Listen, we only got two minutes left of our show. Uh, time go by um, really, really fast here. But look, we're so glad to have uh, Mr. Coleman here with us. Thank you, thank um, you, Doc. Thank all you, Doc. the great things that uh, he is doing in the community. We are excited about the ABC project. Let us know what Fresh Start can do. Yes, uh, keep putting your blast out. You got a flyer, bring it up to the station sure. and uh, make sure that we are pushing that out. Uh, go down to the Dunbar on May 3rd. He said he figured it out. <laughs> we know whatever he figured out, it's going to be good. <laughs> Come on. But just go down there <laughs> <Go> down. <laughs> prophetically. Yeah. It'll be there. It'll be there. Don't know what it is. You all know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but that's how grandma was. Like, we didn't see a whole, a whole lot of food in the refrigerator. Yeah. We didn't know what the meal would look like yeah. when we got back home from church. Yes, there yeah, were yeah. greens and beans yeah. and cornbread yeah. and yeah. all kind of things. Well, yes, we know sir. that Trayon is going to have a great, great, great uh, uh, event for us. And we're looking forward to uh, next next month on yes, the sir. third Saturday as well. Meet us at the same time. Tom, close out. What we got some things going on? Something you didn't mention? We, we do. I, I have the serve amphi going on at the third Wednesday in the Amphi Neighborhood Park and uh, we're going to serve the homeless population. We're also going to serve the people in the 85705 uh, area code. We're, we're, we're going to bring some food, some clothes and, and other items and we're going to bring resources for you guys to get a better future and get a fresh start. Yes. You know, it's not just people that have been incarcerated. There's yeah. people that are in prison that are walking the streets today. Yeah. And we're looking to free them, too, because yeah. there are opportunities for you to address those things from your past that are holding you from your future. Allow us to help you do that. Amen. All right. Good stuff. And homelessness is another level of prison. Amen. So you don't even have to have bars. If you got bars on your mind, yeah. keeping you from the future, 
We still want you to get a fresh start. Look, it's been a great show today. We're just about out of time. Meet us every Saturday morning, 7.30 at the 106 The Groove. Every third uh, Saturday is our special edition with Treon's time, and we're looking for a great opportunity with this new project, ABC. Listen, go to somebody's church tomorrow. Get your praise on and change your life because all things are possible to those that believe. Have a wonderful Saturday. Take care.